Why why you turn your control over? Okay, cool. Awesome. Before we buy this. So you're backing them up for come on. Yeah. The storing area. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so this is Mr. Mattis, the the main chef. <laughs> yeah, he's the baker. So tell me about how you um ensure that all of these are prepared to be sold this morning. Well, the preparation actually to start from home. Yeah. Is prepare most all the most in, important ingredients at home. Mm -hmm. The thing that needs to be cooked and the jam and cassava and so you prepare at home yeah. then we go to the bakery now when we go to the bakery mm -hmm. we just mix up the dough we start with the preparation the dough the way out to the flour the ingredients the measuring of the water yeah. and everything salt sugar yeast spice essence everything and then i do the mixing up i mix the stuff along with my wife mm -hmm. and my sister-in-law then oh. we're going to start to prepare everything we, we already had the ingredients prepared at home the yeah. main ingredients yeah so as we finish the dough and we prepare it set to start producing the stuff mm -hmm. we roll out what is needed to be rolled out in whatever shape or how it is need to be set and put in the ingredients yeah fork it off put it on sheets and so yeah. and then put it on the rack and give it the appropriate time for it to set to raise to the appropriate size we give it the appropriate time for it to raise setting time normally just be two to two and five minutes yeah and then in that me in that within that period of raising we set the oven light up the oven give it the time to build up the temperature yes and after that we start preparing the oven mm -hmm. after burn the oven to the appropriate temperature which is 350 to 370 degrees yeah. Fahrenheit. This is the appropriate temperature for baking within the period of time. You haven't had a chance to build up and mm -hmm. sit down to the right temperature. Within that period of time, these items are ready to start being baked and we proceed with such. With the baking of the items, all the pastries, bread, tennis roll. When that is finished, and normally the baking period, some items take a shorter period than some. Yeah. Some would take 30 to 35 minutes. Some go up to 45 minutes, depending on the product. Okay. For instance, the cassava pound that is take the most time to be, and they just require more heat than the rest of the stuff. Yeah, because it's like a wet dough, like. Yeah, due to the pound, mm -hmm. the, 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 um, the chalk, the starch that the pound carries, yeah. it is require more heat for it to cook through. Okay. So the cassava pound is always go in for us but come out last <laughs> oh boy uh, uh, which one um, normally take less see which one normally finish fast the pastries like the cheese roll and the pine tart okay yeah uh, the cheese roll and the pine tart mm -hmm. and the bread they don't take as much time as the cassava pone or the salaro the tennis roll is the fastest because they don't require much heat. okay yeah because of the ingredients and it has more sugar than the bread Right. So you don't require that much heat. Because when the tennis roll raises, remember it's not that much of a big piece of dough for each tennis roll. Mm -hmm. So you don't require that much heat. It takes a shorter time to take about 20 to 23 minutes and it comes out to the oven. Okay, good. Um, I realize that based on what you're saying, like it's a lot of work that you have to put in. You, you enjoy doing it or no? Yeah, it's been... It's been a number of years I've been in this 27 going into 28 years. Yeah. I did other work before, mm -hmm. but I just enjoy doing this. It, it brings me joy. Okay. <laughs> Getting this done. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good. If one straight thing and then you cut it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, what is that one? 
Oh, this is a beast. This is a sling beast. Uh, Sugar and liquid and essences. This is spice. Yeah. Flavor. Uh. Yeah, we got ten shoes. Three sixty, Papa. Ten, and a pack big ones. I'm gonna want ten, I'm gonna want five one. No, me got five one. Andre, you got five in the pack. Look, the man got five in the pack, dude. This is the image that we're going to be posted. This one, I can have the one more. Huh? I yeah, but if you find, you just leave it. Somebody get the extra piece. Yeah, yeah. So um, why did you decide to start the business? Well, at first I started off working with my father. He's the person that taught me this trick. Okay. okay. Yes, he's the original baker. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so he taught me this trade and then afterwards he had the place, it closed and I left and I went to it and worked with Humphrey's Bakery. Mm -hmm. I worked there for like four and a half years. This is where I met my wife. Okay. Yeah, at home freeze bakery. She was nice. working in the preparation section, yeah. marking off and stuff. So that's where I met my wife. Nice. So after working there for a period of four, four and a half years, mm. we decided, knowing that I know the trade to the extent, yeah, that we could start on our own. Nice. So we started small for us going and selling at schools and stuff. Okay. And as time went by after my father decided to quit our due to age and stuff he decided to give us this spot out here oh so your father used to sell out yes he spot. used to be out here okay, for us okay okay so he decided to give us this spot so after he decided to give us over this spot we started in a more larger scale because at first we weren't doing this amount yeah so after that we started due to the customer base we started to produce the, the items on a larger scale. Uh, so that is how we started to grow in this gradually, gradually. And things started to show. Nice. And I really did enjoy the, the process up to this stage. I haven't regretted not one moment. Ago. That's good, man. I'm really happy to hear that. So is there anything that you fear going forward about the business? No, I never really had any fear. I'm prepared to face any challenge. Okay. Prepared to face any challenge at this point of Nice. And what, from the business, what is your favorite part of it? The preparation. The preparation? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My wife more like doing the sales and customers and stuff because mm. she good with the part. Okay. Yeah. Dealing with customers and stuff. It is take call for a lot of tolerance. Because with some customers, oh my, you be amazed with some of the people that has come on a day. Yeah. But you just have to have it within you mm -hmm. to not let them Bring get to you. Yeah. And you deal with them in the right manner. And thing thing always work out for best. Oh, you see sometimes the same customers that just try to make things look difficult for you just come back and applaud you on the way that you dealt with them. Nice. Some of them, you know, cause people have bad days they might come, sometimes yeah, they might not yeah, be in the mood. True. And looking for a way to show how they trash on other people what we don't accept that. Yeah, Just right. let it go and we deal with it in the right manner. Yeah. And they would come back sometime two days after and said apologize for the way that it spoke and stuff because that's that how things was going. Mm -hmm. And they was very thankful that things didn't escalate and how we handled the situation and stuff. I guess it has to do with the way that you was brought up because my parents always tried to teach me 
right way how to deal with people and not always let things get to you and that way so that's that's so yeah true, it, all, it all work out for the best <laughs> that's so true um do you find anything about the business like hard like what would you say is the hardest thing for you with the business yeah let me see how can i see sometimes we just have we done these oh, okay yeah things don't always be bright yeah you have days when you might have things might let them back and so but we try not to let the product go to waste mm -hmm. If we see it going to go slow and things might left over instead of leaving the spoil, yeah, we would give it out to charity or other persons and let them use it up. That's instead good, of man. letting it go to waste. But this is the only challenging part that we might face up with something. But other than that, I just just enjoy the basics of it, right? Through. Okay, okay, that's nice. So, what would you say like is your biggest um, learning experience on a business like? To having the business, what has it taught you that you will carry through? Like? Being self employed has taught me a lot of independence. Oh. Yeah, it has pushed me forward, yeah. given me the strength to always make the bolder step forward, mm -hmm. to achieve things, work hard towards it. And I could tell anybody, if not, if people might look at you and judge you and see that maybe you might acquire a few things yeah. in life and they might have their own assumptions but they got to be here to know it's a hard road to travel sure it's a hard road and you have to be into it a hundred percent because if you're not and you have a two-sided mind and when things might look a little tough you won't give up you don't achieve things like that you always have to have the will to push forward True, as the saying goes, um, persons always see the glory, the success, but they don't know the story. It's true. That yeah. is so, so true. Yeah. My wife and I, we have had our challenges. Oh. Nobody knows. They just look at us and they just assume, but <laughs> they don't know. But yeah. we, we don't give up. We just, just don't matter what. We get up every day and we keep pushing and we go, we go. We go. Okay. Any advice I want to give to someone? watching this video who's like thinking about becoming an entrepreneur or is already an entrepreneur my advice to anybody that is willing to start a business or be self-employed or go into the form of entrepreneurship is to be dedicated to what you're doing always put your best foot forward and don't give up you will have challenges they will have ups and downs mm -hmm. but you have to have be strong have the willpower to push forward and always, always put God for us, cause we do. Yeah, yeah. We don't hesitate to pray. Morning, during the day, night time, we don't hesitate to pray. Even when things may looking a little tough, yeah. Always put God for us, because without Him, mm -hmm. nothing goes right. Amen to that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> so, um, like how your father passed down the business to you, um, is passing it down to your son something you're thinking about? Something I would have loved to have done, yeah. but they don't have any interest in this whatsoever. But they interest me right. other way. Oh, yeah. My big son, he yeah. like the engineering part. Yeah. And the next, the smallest, younger son, yeah. well, he's a show by. The flashy body. I don't know exactly, exactly which field he wants to fall in, mm. but he just do the mechanic work and uh, but no, no, neither the two they're not showing any interest in the baking, but they don't like it, period. Oh, okay. they don't oh. like it, period. So, I don't know from here, further down, yeah. who might be the next person to take a step. I'm hoping, waiting and see what will be the outcome. We are out here selling. Yeah. This is where it starts. She's going to start with cassava just now. Mm -hmm. For me to go home to grid. Yeah. Yeah, this is how we start. From the time we come out, while she's selling, I leave here, I go back home. Mm -hmm. I start preparing stuff for the next day. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so it's well. like a, just a continuous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, while she's here, i home working. I'm going to be making jam, preparing cassava, great coconut, and stuff like that. Yeah. Start making preparation for next day. Okay. So this is how it is be every day, I will say sure. Every day. Nice. <laughs> so when I finish everything home in this afternoon, I come back out. Mm -hmm. Spend the rest of the time with me mm -hmm. myself yeah. till it's time to pass up. Hey show me on July like that for me. Alright, thank you sir. No problem, right? Yeah. Alright.